want to find new clients online as a private practice dietitian. But more than that, you want to create a system for attracting clients so that you can sell them into a course, membership, or digital products. Now, if that sounds like you, in today's video, I'm going to break down how to make that happen. You might be wondering, what are freebies? Maybe you've heard that word before. Also called freemiums, opt-ins, free guides, free offer. Basically, a freebie means something that you give away for free. A freebie is a guide or something that you give away in exchange for somebody's email address. Now, having someone's email address is really important. The free guide that you're giving away in exchange for an email address should be relevant to the content that you actually sell in your business. So there's really a connection between your free offer and what you offer that's for pay. For example, if you advocate for food freedom, then your free offer should talk about that in some way, maybe in the form of a checklist, a guide, or a resource. You should have some actionable steps related to food freedom with the free guide that you're giving away. If you want to see what a free guide looks like, check out the link below because I have a free guide to walk you through how to create a course. And you can go through that process and see what it looks like for a company like us to give away a free offer in exchange for an email address. Now, if you think about it, giving away a free guide related to how to build a course, an online course, is exactly related to the content that we give away also for pay in our membership rebellion. Part of our programming shows you how to package information into a course, a membership, or any type of digital product, including group programming and private coaching that you sell online. So when in your business you're thinking about what to create for a freebie, remember to connect your free content with your paid content. Now, you might be wondering, well, why should you care about a free guide in private practice? And what does this have to do with growing your business anyway? Well, the number one issue for those of you in the beginner stage of business, for those of you that are growing and building your private practice, is marketing and sales. You need to have the ability to consistently fill up your pipeline, meaning that you have people who are interested, leads, people who are ready and willing to purchase your products and services. You need to have a system to be able to create that demand. And then when it comes to sales, you need to have the skills to convert those people who are potential clients into paying customers, and that's called sales. So you need to be able to have the skills to have a system for marketing and a system for sales. And creating a freebie and offering it in exchange for someone's email address and having the freebie connected to the content that you sell for pay is good marketing. And that's a good example of how to improve your skill sets when it comes to marketing. You can start this process before you have clients because building your email list and really growing that list of subscribers is an asset to your business that you can start at any stage. And in fact, starting this sooner versus later is good practice in business. So I wanna show you the software to create a simple design when it comes to building that free guide. There's a pro and free version of Canva, and the free version is very acceptable for a lot of what you need. I do recommend the pro version though, if you're using Canva a lot, because you have the ability to save things such as your brand colors and the fonts that you're using as well. You'll have access to more features and more photos inside of Canva itself. And Canva is an excellent tool when it comes to design. It makes design so simple. And although Canva might've been around a few years ago when I first started my business, I definitely wasn't a power user and I wish I had gotten on using in Canva earlier. We teach all our clients to use Canva for creating graphics and really creating also the assets in your business that you're selling, like your courses and your memberships as well. Step one, open an account. And step two, use a free template. There are so many templates inside Canva that you can find and use and customize to fit your unique needs of your business. And you can grab an outline that you've created. Now the outline should have a checklist. Let's go back to that example earlier about a food freedom dietitian. If you're a food freedom practitioner and you're giving a checklist as a free guide, maybe you have a checklist of five or seven things that you would suggest people do to work towards living a food freedom lifestyle or towards finding body acceptance or anything within that realm. And so you wanna document a little bit of a checklist. You could use Google documents or a Word document or notes to write what you would put inside that freebie. And then once you find the right template, you want to actually translate what your uh, outline is onto the template and save it. So you want to add it in step four and then step five, you want to use your brand colors. Now, if you don't have brand colors, that's totally okay. You can just pick some maybe neutral colors until you do have brand colors. Now in our membership rebellion, we actually give you access. So you can choose your brand colors and a logo that saves you a lot of time but you can also not overthink that and just pick something because having something is better than nothing. So maybe you wanna choose a blue color, or maybe you wanna choose a beige for now, and then later you wanna adjust it, and that's totally okay because the goal is just to get something out there. 
I just want to keep in mind that we're not sponsored by Canva. And if you do want to use other tools, there are other great tools out there that you can use, and that's totally fine. I would say most of, if not all of our clients do use Canva, but that doesn't mean you can't design in other tools. It just happens to be a very dietitian friendly tool to use. And it's also good for beginners. Now, if you have money to invest, you can pay a contractor to design this for you in maybe less than 90 minutes, but you are gonna need to learn the management skills to be able to work with somebody and have them take your idea and your outline and actually put that on to Canva and translate it the way that you want. So there are two options here. I would suggest you go ahead and set a timer and do it yourself and later down the line you might decide that you want to hire someone in the future which is great and we definitely have videos on, on how to do that. I want to walk you through how to create a PDF in Canva. So I just walked you through how to create a freebie and how to find a template and use your outline but how do you save this on Canva and make it into a PDF form? Because you need it in a PDF form to be able to upload it then into your email service provider and actually have it available for people to exchange their email address so that you can give them that free guide. So what you want to do is identify the type of the free guide Get your outline drafted, of course, as a refresher. Use the template that we just discussed because Canva has free options. And then take your outline onto the template. You wanna customize your bio and your photos. You wanna use a call to action and tell people to do something like buy your product or service. And if you have a product or service, use that as your call to action and tell people to purchase that product or service. But if you don't, no worries, you can always build up to that later. And then if you don't use a call to action, just ask them to email you back what they need help with. Just do the best with what you have right now and you can always build on that free guide with time. And then the last step is to download this as a PDF. So go to download and then save the file. And you can upload the saved file into your email service provider and set up a simple email campaign later. But I first wanna make sure you're aware of how to create the freebie, what that looks like, and how to save it in a proper format that will be available for you to upload it later as a second part to your email service provider. So if you do want a video on examples about more freebies, make sure to comment below and let me know. I'd be happy to create that for you if that's something that you want. Now, I wanna talk about a sales funnel because when we talk about sales and marketing being the most difficult aspects of a beginner in private practice as a dietitian, you might be wondering, well, how do I improve that skill besides creating an email list and doing so by using a free guide to incentivize people to give you their email addresses? And the answer would be to really understand the concept of a sales funnel, and it's a theoretical model. A sales funnel illustrates the journey of a customer as they go through the process of purchasing your product or service. The sales process is a step-by-step -step framework for how somebody makes a decision when it comes to choosing you over a competitor. And that process very typically, in an inverted pyramid, it looks like awareness, interest, decision, and action. Now I will say that this four-step process has been updated. And although that theoretical model is overly simplified, People don't really make decisions in this linear fashion. In modern society, people make decisions that are non-linear. So they don't exactly always move from step A to B to C, but it's important for you to conceptualize that these are parts of the process that people go through when making a decision. And this is just how it works when it comes to knowing as a business owner, how do you create systems that support this theoretical model? Because again, this is how people make purchasing decisions. So you wanna use these steps to optimize your sales funnel. And this goes hand in hand with a free guide because creating a freebie and having it relate to the content that you sell is absolutely a part of this process. So in the first step, we've got awareness and it's important because that's how you gain new customers. And that's where you use a call to action and you tell people to do something like grab my free guide or purchase my services or buy my course, right? In this case, you're telling them that you want them to grab your free guide so that you can have their email address in exchange and build your email list. And then the second aspect of that theoretical model would be interest, and that's value-added content that they're excited about, and that's where the freebie comes in hand. So the free guide fits into the interest section of this theoretical model where you're providing value that they've had to opt in from the call to action where you've asked them to do something. Then we move to the decision phase of the sales funnel. And this one is really tricky for a lot of dietitians and a lot of our clients, because in this phase, the customer, the potential customer, has to make the decision to purchase your product over somebody else's. But keep in mind that they have to need it and they have to want it. And this is why, as a business, you have to solve a problem. You have to solve a real problem or else they're not going to decide to work with you because they won't be compelled to make a decision because they won't need it. So keep in mind that every business that's successful that stays in business, every dietitian, private practitioner, is solving a big problem to make it easier to have people, meaning potential customers, people that you want to purchase your products and services, make it easier for them to make a decision. And then finally, the last phase would be convert. So in the sales funnel, 
after somebody has decided that they're going to choose you, they're going to work with your product or service, you then have to convert them from making that decision to being a paid customer. You have to make it easy for people to purchase. And that could be through a simple sales page that you set up that lives on the internet. And also could be through a simple process where people book a call with you. And on that sales conversation, you collect payment once they decide that they do want to work with you. Now that we've reviewed what it looks like to create a freebie and to also make it into a PDF and use Canva to do so, and how this fits into the sales funnel as your theoretical model where people move down to make a decision uh, and purchase products or services with you, I want you to watch this next video that discusses Instagram and how to use Instagram as a source to attract clients and have them move down your sales funnel and make purchasing decisions because they actually need the product or service that you sell because it solves a tangible problem that they have.